Hi Rapunzel ladies! I'm going to teach you today how to do what I consider the most essential wrap with this wrap which I call the regal wrap. Once you learn how to do it and once you really really perfect it that's the one wrap that you can use to start layering, to start braiding, to start twisting. This is really just it's the basic that I wear underneath all my other tichels and Basically, you want to learn it. I've already done two videos on how to do this. The first one was with music without me talking. And the second one was pretty detailed, but I was not really using a proper scarf for it. Plus, the lighting was not very good in that video. So a couple of you have been asking me to make another video. And I realized, like, you know, I keep telling people, learn the regal wrap, learn the regal wrap. Yet there isn't a decent video for it. So here I am making one. A regal wrap can be done with any long scarf, no matter how thin or how thick it is. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it with a basic, my favorite basic teal pashmina, and this will be our starting off point. You know, obviously depending on the thickness of the scarf that will affect the volume of how, basically how big the tiffle looks on your head. So, here's my pashmina. And basically what you want to do is you want to have the ends hanging evenly when you start. So your first step is to get your, your undergarments on, which means I've got my no-slip headband and I've got my shaper on and I've got my hair tied up in a bun underneath. Depending on where you place your shaper and where you place your bun, that's also going to affect how the scarf looks on you. If you want more height, you're going to want to place it higher. If you want a lower down bun, you're going to want to place it lower. I kind of place it right in the middle of my head because that's how I like it. But we are going to be, in this video, since it's very detailed, I'll, I'll, get, I'll tell you a secret actually, you can do this wrap in 15 seconds flat. Obviously this video, I've already been going for two minutes and I haven't even started wrapping. Um, this video is going to be longer because it's very, very detailed. So we are going to start with our pashmina. Now if I were to just throw this on my head like this, wouldn't work so well because it comes to the middle of my back. And if I were to try to tie that, it would be all bunchy and weird. So the first step with any long scarf that you're tying around your head is that you want to fold it so it fits your head. Eventually you'll be able to eyeball this. Um, you know, depending on how much hair you have or how much proof you have back here, it's going to change how you fold it. But for my pashmina, it means folding it about this much. So then I'm going to place it on my head. And in this video, just so you all know, I'm going to be, whenever I turn around, I'm going to stop talking because I want you all to hear what I'm saying. So, there. This is hitting right at the front of my head perfectly. And you want the back of the scarf to hit right around here in your neck. So therefore, when you either crisscross it or when you crisscross it or tie it at the back, it's going to create a nice knot and a beautiful shape back here. So what I'm going to do right now is I am going to knot the back. Now, you might have heard me mention crisscrossing. You can crisscross. And especially if you are headache prone, it's a very good idea to crisscross. Right now I'm tying a knot because that's the most secure in my opinion, but you can do a crisscross and it works absolutely fine. Now I've got my even ends here. Now here's the thing about a regal wrap. You could, you know, and this is what made me struggle with it at the beginning when I started wrapping. You can literally put like two things around your head like this. And actually that doesn't look too bad, but um, if you do it sloppy or like this or a bunch, it looks really not so nice. But when you know how to fold these ends exactly so they lie on your head in a flattering way, then it really, it, the, the wrap really shines. So you say, Andrea, what's flattering? That's going to depend on who you are. So if I want, I'm just going to show you an example. If I wanted a lot of height, I would basically tie these quite loosely. You know, with lots of height, I might even have another scarf underneath. Lots of height, not, you know, not flat against my head. You know, if I wanted a more streamlined look, I might, I would fold it more and keep things lower down. Basically, you have to play with it. You can have the, a regal wrap basically means bringing these two ends around the top. So you can have the two ends up here near the front. You can have them back here. 
experiment with it and you'll see what you like. Often if you crisscross the ends when you bring them up, that creates more volume, right? Obviously. If you don't crisscross them, it creates less volume. You might want to have more volume at the side of your head and less at the top, or more at the top and less at the side. Really play around with that and you will see how it works for you. I'm going to show you what looks best on me in my opinion, but I do change it up every day. But what I'm going to show you how to do today is how to make it nice and neat and tucked um, so you have the skills to start experimenting because you want to have the skills so you can eventually experiment. So. When a scarf is knotted at the back of your head, you have one end kind of coming out on top and one end coming out at the bottom. So what I want to do first is I'm going to grab the one that's coming out at the top. You really, it doesn't matter that much. You can do the other one, but I prefer doing the one at top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the ends of the scarf in. So therefore, when I bring it up and around, I have a nice neat edge around here. Now, what I do in my previous video on the Repo Wrap is I kind of leave this hanging at the front and then I bring this end around and then I do like a nice little foldy thing on the side here. That's pretty. You can do that. It's not absolutely necessary, so I'm not going to teach you how to do that here, but keep in mind that you can do that. So the key to the Regal Wrap is now that I have this end around, First of all, when you bring the end around, you really want to make sure that it's absolutely looking the way that you want it to look at the back of your head, that it's really nicely going around your bun. And this is a very good example of a wrap that you cannot be afraid of the scarf. You have to show that scarf who's boss and that you want to use it and you want to manipulate it and put it in exactly where it needs to go. So definitely do that with this scarf. So, okay, I've got my end. And you see how when I brought it around, I created this little pocket. It's like a little pocket right here. You're going to bring this around and tuck all the fringy end in here. Like so. And you don't want to put it in all bunched. If you put it in very, very bunched, then you'll probably get a pressure headache in that area. You want to put it in nice and smooth. Bring it up and around, nice and beautiful. So now we've got the second end. Do the same thing, fold it in. And I personally, I like to have like my folds a little more by the face. And again, one, one thing I wanna mention is when I brought that around just now, it looked really nice and neat, nice and smooth, right? Beautiful. I prefer to have a little more pleating, a little more texture there. So I'm gonna crumple that up a little more. So I got that nice pleat at the front. I can make like more pleats here. I prefer that, you know, crump, you know, a bit more texture. But again, it's up to you. And depending on what you want, it looks different every time. So I personally, because I like my pleating, I like to do this, what I call the comb over. I almost treat it like hair. Now I've got this end around here and I'm gonna tuck it in also at the back in that little pocket. Now one thing you might have noticed when I tucked it in is that a couple of fringy ends came out, right? This happens. Um, it doesn't happen all the time, but it will happen to you once in a while, no matter how great you are at wrapping. So one thing, a lot of people just say tuck it in as much as you can. I prefer to fold the shorter fringy ends into my scarf, so then they don't bug me as much. So any little fringy ends right here, put them away. Now I can't see the back of my head, but I can tell from the front that I think it's probably looking pretty good. You definitely want to neaten that up at the back as much as you can. And there you have it. This is your absolute go-to basic. This is a basic turban if you want. Once you learn how to do this and you learn how to really do that tucking at the back so it looks, looks good, then you can start, you know, I've done this with three scarves before. So you can start adding layers and adding more and more. But the, the key to this is really, really 
taking control and being in control of that scarf and really pleating it and shaping it in a way that you love and actually really fetters you. So all the best, good luck, and this is the basic beginner's regal wrap. Cold too. Bye-bye.